I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today to show you this minimal back to work makeup. And thank you SkinStore.com for sponsoring this video and they did not pay me. However, they allowed me to choose a full array of face makeup products from their website to show you today. And I'm so excited to share these with you. All but one of them are drugstore price products. Um, well, first, if you love high-end skincare, and I do love some high-end skincare items, for instance, this is actually a brow care item, but I've totally grown my brows with this product. This is the Revita Lash Advanced Brow product. I, can't, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I ordered it first time just retail off some website. I think it might have been the Revita Lash website, and I think it was around $125. But the last two times I've used my discount code Beth, which is listed below the video, for 25% off this. And I think it ended up being about $68 or $70, somewhere in there. I can't remember exactly. But that's the neat thing about SkinStore.com. And there is a look at their website. They have regular sales on very high-end skincare. As you can see there, there's SkinCeutical sale. There's the supplements that I use, which is the Paracone MD supplements, wonderful supplements. If you like very high-end skincare products, SkinStore.com has regular sales. It's wonderful. And it also has great makeup, both high-end and more drugstore price. Most of this makeup that I have on is drugstore price makeup. But again, it's 25% off using the discount code Beth and following the link below. And basically, you can get the 25% off on everything I'm showing you today and a lot of the other products at SkinStore.com. And they asked me to create a minimal back to work, back to school type makeup. And for me, this is minimal. And I did this last night and I did not use any eyeliner at all. And I felt like I looked like I was 80 years old and asleep. So I used a little bit of eyeliner, but the eyeliner I used is a Pixi product that is called a Waterline Definer Eyeliner. So it's just a very thin line along there and I just loved it. Well, I'll stop telling you all the details about this makeup and I'll show you instead. Let's rewind the tape and I'll show you from bare skin every step of the way. Okay, here I am up close and personal and I'm really excited to show you my eyes first. And about six or nine months ago, I started applying my eye makeup first because I didn't like that fallout falling down over my newly fresh foundation and causing a wreck. I really just like to do the eyes first and do the foundation second. And to do my eyes, I chose this Revolution Maxi Reloaded palette. And I absolutely love this. Look at the incredible colors you get in this. And I think the whole thing is $18 before you take off the 25% discount under the Beth code. And again, this is linked under the video, but that makes it extremely affordable, maybe around $14, $13, $14, somewhere in there. But look at all the fabulous colors you get. And one thing I like about this is it doesn't have heavy glossy shimmers, but it does have just eyeshadows with a little bit of glow mixed with some mattes, and I'll be using both on my eyes today. Okay, here we go, and let me find my brush here. Okay, here's my little brush, and I'm using the wonderful brushes from BK Beauty. I have basically the whole set here, and ever since I got them, with the exception of a couple of brushes, I am using those, and they are wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and put some shadow on the lid, and I'm going to be starting with this little peachy color, and it is just a matte, and I'm going to go over here and apply it. I have a, a little mirror off camera here, and it just evens that color out. And I did not use any primer on my eyes at all. And as you can see, I have a lot of red, but that shadow is really very highly pigmented and it is covering that up. I'm sorry, I should do this from the other side. I don't do a lot of makeup tutorials, so it's a little bit awkward for me. I'll get the hang of it. So just windshield wiper that all over both, both eyes there, a little extra but very, very pretty and very minimal looking. I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush and dip it in this brow color. It's not really a brow color, but anything that is a white or an off-white, I feel is great to emphasize that brow area. And I always take it down into this dark area. However, I do have a concealer, a couple of concealers I'm going to be using there in just a few minutes. So there is that, and I'm going to add just a little bit of gleam to the center. And to do that, I think I will mix this color and this color. Aren't they beautiful? Just little glimmery colors. I'll go towards the inside of that lid. Look how pretty that is. Even with the natural makeup, it's always nice to give ourselves just a little bit of shine. And I think that is so pretty. 
let me go ahead and do the crease now. I'll get a crease brush. Here is my little crease brush. And I'm going to be using which color? This little peachy color here. Very, very pretty peachy color. I don't use a lot of warm colors like that, but I thought with fall it would be nice to have a little warm crease, a little peach on the eyelids. Very pretty. Just circle it around in the outside of that corner there. Very pretty. Keep wanting to go to the wrong color. Circle it around here. And where you lay your brush down first is the most intense color, so always start on the outside because generally you want more color out there. Ooh, very pretty. Very, very pretty. So that is how that looks so far. I think it's really nice, really natural looking. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of a blender brush and blend that out a little more. Very pretty. And I normally go in with kind of a, a, a teal blue shiny shadow under my eyelashes because I'm kind of a drama girl. And I will just go in with a little bit of this darker peach color here. Just a little tiny bit under there. I'm not going to be using a heavy liner on the top as I usually do. We'll go in with a little water liner and then just use a tiny line along the top lashes. Next I'm going to go in and use this really wonderful little product that I just got yesterday and I started to use it last night. Really, really liked it. This is the Pixie Define Water Liner and I'm going to use it in the waterline and it may still be here from last night because when I remove my makeup it's kind of hard to get off the waterline so I don't know if you can tell but I'll go ahead and just put it a little bit in the waterline. Just helps thicken up those lashes, the look of those lashes. I think here, here I think you can see some of the white and you just don't want to see that. So that is how that looks. Now, I tried this makeup last night and I did not use any eyeliner at all. And even though it's a minimal look, I like a little bit of eyeliner because I like my lashes to look thick on the bottom. But the wonderful thing about this little tiny liner is that it is little, it is tiny. And so it makes a very small line along the top, very narrow line. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little liner along the top. And this is brown black, I believe. So that's how that eye looks. Now I'll go in and do the other one. Okay, that is just that little narrow line along the top, and I really do like this for a nice, fine, precise line. Now, next I'm going to use mascara, and I ordered the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, which I've actually never used, and I'll go ahead and apply it off camera. I really like this one, though, because it is waterproof, and when Alan and I go on that beachy vacation, I will take this one with me. Okay, there is that mascara, and I think it is very beautiful. It does not clump, that is certainly true. It's living up to its clump crusher name. It doesn't clump and it just makes your lashes look long and separated and really rather natural. I really do like this. Okay, next I'm going to go in and clean up the mess and I did have a little mess right here, you can see that. Just go in there with your makeup wipe and just make sure everything is cleaned off under the eyes. Okay, there we go. Now it's time for foundation and for concealer. Now, I'm absolutely loving this little foundation that I got, and it is from CoverGirl, so it's extremely reasonable, even without my 25% discount code. It's called Aqua Smooth, and here it is. I have not used a cream foundation in a long time, and I'd forgotten how much I really like them. Whoa, there it is. Very, very pretty color, and this is called Buff Beige. I usually do pretty well with a color called Buff, and it comes with its own little sponge. Just get a little bit of it. I'll go in there. Get the side of the nose. Ooh, it goes on beautifully. The other side of the nose. Cream foundations really do well. They tend to cover things up. This is, I would say, a medium to a full foundation. And I still like that look. Mostly in a liquid foundation, I can only go medium. 
But for some reason in a cream foundation, I can really go kind of full coverage. And it doesn't seem to settle into fine lines and wrinkles. And it covers things up beautifully and just gives me a pretty nice even, even look there. And it's a little bit light for my skin, I would say. But I'll go in, I have some bronzer that I'll use. And I always like to bring the foundation a little bit down on the neck. Just to bring that color down. Let's take a look at it. See how we think. We've got a little problem here. Besides the eyes, sometimes I forget those. But it's best to put it more in the center of your face and then just kind of shear it out as it gets to the outside. But I think it is too light for my skin, but I do think it looks really good. The coverage is quite beautiful. Now let's go in with some concealer. And the concealer I chose is the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. And I am liking the fact that this is not too white, although it is in the color light. And I'll link it below. But it doesn't have that super white clown-like look. I'm really not liking the super white under eyes anymore. Now let me get a little concealer brush. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and blend that in. Ooh, very pretty. You know, it covered really nicely. I've still got a little black around my eyes, but not too bad. And I have a Dermablend concealer that I ordered from Skin Store, but it's because I've used it probably every day for 20 years. Love it. Specifically for that black inner area, just beside your nose. Okay, very, very pretty. That concealer covered very beautifully, and I think it's really pretty. Okay, next let's go in with that Dermablend. And again, this is a favorite. If you have anything that you want to cover up on your face, anywhere, any discolorations, it works beautifully. I'll just put it right here on the inside of my nose. And I'll just kind of pat that in with fingers. But do you see how it just nulled that black out? It just kind of made it disappear, which is wonderful. And I don't think I have much anywhere else on my face right now. I think the other concealer, maybe a little bit here, this is always the big gun for me. I always go in with this when I need a little extra help. Okay, there is that Dermablend concealer. Love that product. Okay, now it's time for some powder, and this time I'm not going to use loose powder. I'm going to be going in with the CoverGirl Clean Makeup Pressed Powder, and actually I've used this product for years too. It was kind of a reorder for me. This is in the color Natural, Creamy Natural, and I'll just dip my big fluffy brush in there and I'm trying to get the concealer in my under eye area to be taken care of with that powder. A little bit down on the neck but this is absolutely a beautiful powder and it has that almost Noxzema smell to it. They call it clean and it smells super clean and I used to keep this in my purse for probably 20 years. I now use a Charlotte Tilbury powder most days but this is still a great one. Okay, now, as you can see, everything looks a little bit pale. I look a little pale because that foundation wasn't quite the right color. So I'm going to take that powder brush and this Revolution Reloaded Bronzer. Is it Reloaded? Makeup Revolution London. Yes, Bronzer Reloaded. It's called Bronzer Reloaded. And we'll see if we can just kind of null out that Casper skin. Take a little bit of that. I'll try it on this side. See what's just kind of warming that up? Now we'll do it on the other side. A little bit on the neck. A little bit as if the sun is kissing your nose and your chin. Although with your sunblock, it never should do that. <laughs> yes, that just warmed everything up beautifully. Now, I think I'd also like to give myself a little bit of a cheekbone. So I'm going to go in with my contour brush, just dip it in the bronzer, suck in your cheeks, a little bit beside the nose, soak in your cheeks again, and then I also do right under the chin line to kind of chisel that in. I'm starting to get like a bump here and a little bit of a bump there. I'm not too excited about that. I guess that's a jowl. <laughs> I don't like having jowls. 
I'm trying to change my face yoga routine to deal with that a little better. So we'll see what happens. If you'd like to see a video about those new gel type exercises that I've been doing for my face, I'm going to give it another couple of weeks. I've done them a couple of weeks already and I think they might be helping a little bit, but certainly a little bit of bronzer contour works too. So there we are, maybe a little bit up here. Okay, very good. Oh, and by the way, I did my brows before I came on camera. That's why I've not messed with them. And I have to say, I'm not very happy with them right now because I usually use a Jolene cream hair bleach on them. And I don't use the conditioner that comes with that product normally, but this time I did. And apparently it made that bleach really take. And so I'm dealing with totally bleached out brows. And so they're not looking the best. But anyway, a little bit of brow pencil does help, but it's not perfect sometimes. Well, anyway, I have two blushers and I love them both. One is a drugstore price blusher. This is the Revolution Blusher Reloaded. I guess it's their new thing, the Reloaded. And the next one, and I'll show you, oh gosh, I kind of want to show you both of them, but I guess I can't. I guess I have to choose one. So I will choose this Kevin Aquan blusher, which is absolutely beautiful. And it is called the Neo Blush. And look at that. I love that. And the thing I love about it is it's got very neutral color here, kind of fuchsia -ish pink in the middle and kind of a peachy color out here. And so to me, that is a good way to get a very bright, beautiful look, but still have those peachier skin tones that makes it look real. So let's go in. And I'll just do a little bit on the upper cheekbone. Do the other side. So pretty, absolutely beautiful. And actually, if you want the drugstore price, I really think that other blush is very good too. And I wish I could show it to you. Last night I put them both on, but I don't think that's a fair way to show you either one. And I love it that you can choose if you want more a natural color, a little more of the, a little more of the pinky pink color in the middle. Ooh, wow, that is just a beautiful, beautiful blush. I love that. I'm so happy with that. And I tell you what, I'll go ahead and show you this Makeup Revolutions product, the Blusher Reloaded, but I'll do it on my, on my shoulders here. Sometimes I do that. But there we go, just a little bit of a blush there. I don't know if you can see that. But look how pretty that is. Just a little bit of, of a peachy, warmed up, color and I like it that it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Pretty, very, very pretty. Okay, and I forgot one thing. Always on my blush, I bring it up to my hairline too. I don't know why I do that. But I just do a little bit up here because I think it kind of makes a nice triangle. I think I learned that somewhere, I can't remember, but I have done it since like probably high school, maybe junior high. Ooh, that really does look natural, really does look pretty. And that foundation is fabulous. It looks very, very skin-like, but it has covered everything beautifully. Okay, now we're into the lipstick, the very final step in this natural face. And I was so excited to get this because I have seen this at Walmart and other drugstores for years. And I haven't used it for years. I think I did maybe 10 years ago. But this is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Custom Nudes. It says lasts up to 24 hours. And actually it did stain my lips a little bit because I wore it to work this morning. I tried to get it off, but you can see it a little bit, but this is actually very close to my nude lip color, my natural color. And they say that's what you're supposed to do to get a good nude is to not go lighter or darker, particularly than your own lips, but basically make it look like your lips are better. And so this is a two part deal and you apply the first part, which is this gorgeous little nude color. And I'll put the color information below the video. There we go. It really matches beautifully. And try to use this almost like a lip liner up here. Although I don't have a lip liner on today. That is a really pretty color. And I'm going to give it 60 seconds to dry and I'll be back and show you the gloss. Okay, it's been 60 seconds and it's quite dry, a little bit tacky maybe. I'm going to go in with the gloss now. And here it is. Just a very nice little clear gloss. It feels very moisturizing. Ooh, I think that is super pretty. And I will definitely be taking that on my trip with Alan to the beach.
Okay, that is a final look at my natural makeup that I created from the makeup at skinstore.com. Every product is listed below and you can use the discount code Beth in the link below to save 25% on all of these makeup items and on many other items at skinstore.com. Thank you again for sponsoring me. I really appreciate these products and I'm excited to take them on my beachy vacation with Alan coming up. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and beyond, then I hope to subscribe to my channel. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these How to Love Yourself cards. They're affirmations actually from Louise Hay absolutely love her. Let's go ahead and choose hopefully a good affirmation to think about for today. Ooh, here's one. Ooh, I love that. As I learn to love myself, I become more powerful. As I learn to love myself, I become more powerful. Oh, I love this. I do not need to wait until I become perfect before I love myself. Loving myself is the quickest way to create a wonderful life. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it is super true. You know, in the past, in my first half, I would always think, well, if I just get that goal or reach that thing or this happens to me or I look a certain way, lose a certain number of pounds, then life will be wonderful and it will all be great. Well, I realized in my second half now, I've come to the realization that all that goal setting, while nice and it is important to set goals, you can't think I'm going to be happy then, I'm going to love myself then. The best way to get the things you want in your life and to actually feel good while you're living your life is to love yourself right now. And it is true that as you learn to love yourself, you just generate more power within yourself and you have much more ability to get out into the world and do the things that you want to do. So friends, just for today, as we go through our day, let's remember that we don't have to be perfect before we love ourselves, that we can love ourselves right now and that's the quickest way to a wonderful life. Take care and I hope you'll love yourself actively today.